Today is March 8th, 2021. In today's show, we will be showing you an interview with next year's superintendent. We will also have a video of teachers getting vaccinated. I'm Cody. And I'm Aisha. And this is Gems TV. Students, there are a limited number of yearbooks available this year due to COVID. Make sure you pre-order your copy now at jostensyearbooks.com. As you may have heard, our district is getting a new superintendent next year. Emma was able to catch up with Mrs. Callahan on Google Meet. So Mr. Lehman is stepping down from his position. Let's see what the new school superintendent is going to do for the school district. My current position is Deputy Superintendent of Educational Services, and I am finishing my seventh year here uh, in Western Placer. See what some of the challenges she will undergo. You know, I think the biggest challenge is replacing big shoes. So uh, Mr. Lehman has been the superintendent um, for a long time in Western Placer and has done a fabulous job. And I think just um, filling those shoes and um, living up to the expectations that have that folks have for the position. Um, that said, I'm super excited to bring my own spin and leadership skills and style to the district to really help um, progress it forward beyond the great work that Mr. Lehman's already done. Lincoln has changed in many ways. As you see our cities continuing to grow, what changes do you see happening? I think we're going to become more diverse. Um, I think that, um, you know, as we become more um, less, uh, less rural and more suburban and urban uh, over time and kind of just an extension of Sacramento, I think with that comes more culture and uh, diversity. And I think that um, as, a, as a growing community, we're going to have to learn to address some of those growing pains together. Um, I think our first uh, stab at that is going to be becoming a two high school district for the first time in um, history. Many view Lincoln in two ways, an old Lincoln and a new Lincoln. What role do you guys play in bringing that divide? I think we play a huge role um, because we we are all Lincoln. Um, and I know there's been some talk about, you know, 12 bridges and then Lincoln. Um, and the reality is we're all Lincoln. And um, I think that the two high schools um, working together collaborative, collaboratively and having um, you know, healthy competition and rivalry, um, but in a very playful and supportive role or supportive way is going to be a huge part in bringing our community together. Um, I think that it's going to be really important to um, to honor tradition and um, and acknowledge history uh, of Lincoln and and what uh, what it was founded um, as and and while also embracing new change and new members into the community and um, being excited about the transformation that Lincoln has, um, has already seen and will continue to see um, and grow and build again off of tradition and, and the foundation that was, was Lincoln to begin with. Let's see what she wants some of the students at GEMS to know. I, I would want GEM students and all students in our districts to know that I'm going to put you first um, above everything else. It is about what's doing uh, right by our students um, and our community. Now let's hear a personal thing that she wants you guys to know. When I was uh, a little girl, um, prior to realizing that I wanted to be a teacher, I wanted to be the first uh, baseball player in Major League Baseball. Um, because I felt that, uh, you know what, women could do anything and, um, and that I was going to be the first person to, uh, to, sh to prove that I was good enough to play with boys in, in Major League Baseball. And it didn't happen, um, but I uh, still feel strongly that women can do everything that uh, anything and everything they put their mind to. Um, and I also, um, you know, love sports and, and want people to know that that's important to me as well. 
I'm Emma Martinez with photographer Ava Silva signing out. Attention 7th graders, are you still interested in going on the East Coast trip in 2022? Over 100 students are signed up, so see Mr. Noonan in room 105 if you are interested in going. It's been one year since we shut our doors at gyms as COVID hit. Many teachers are getting vaccinated to protect themselves against the virus. Here's Riley with the story. With the continuation of COVID, schools have decided to have teachers get the vaccine. Let's see the staff's opinions on it and how it works. How long does it take to get the vaccine? Um, well, I had to wait in line about 20 to 30 minutes, along with everybody else that was there. And then once I got up there, it took me about 10 seconds. Not to get it, I'm having a really hard time getting into the clinic. Um, so whenever it becomes available, I'll go and get it. Now let's look at the process of getting the vaccine. Let's get the teacher's opinions on how the vaccine will change this school year and the following years to come. Um, I think the next school year we'll be able to go to school full day and I'm hoping that we can have like extracurricular activities back to normal like dances and sports, things like that. Do you have plans? Uh, I think it'll help the school year go back to normal so we'll be on campus the whole time, all of our class, kind of a normal schedule that we that we've always had. We'll be able to um, how the, all the activities and sports and kind of, it'll c c come back to, you know, kind of a normal, normal way of school. This is reporter Riley Thompson with photographer Ava Silva signing out. Attention all current 8th graders. Come be part of the sixth season of the LHS dance team. Enjoy performances at assemblies, football games, parades, basketball games, and much more. Be involved with your school. Dance. Enjoy an amazing team and gain friends for a lifetime. Clinic and auditions will be held on Wednesday, April 7th, 8th and 9th at LHS at the theater. Every year, teachers nominate other teachers for a prestigious Teacher of the Year Award. A teacher at GEMS took home the prize this year for K to 8. Here's Gavin with more. Every year, one teacher from kindergarten through eighth grade is chosen to be the teacher of the year. Ms. Thompson got chosen this year for the teacher of the year. Let's go find out more information. It feels amazing. It's just such a huge honor to be nominated by one of my colleagues. I don't know who it is. I wish I could know who it was to thank them, but it's a huge honor. We have so many amazing teachers in our district, and I'm just really um, thrilled to be selected. Let's go find out how the Teacher of the Year is chosen with Mr. Van Court. Well, it's a great honor because the Teacher of the Year for uh, that just got elected was K-8. So it's not just for middle schools, it's from K-8 and then they pick a high school one. So it's an honor to be picked out of all your colleagues to be not noticed as a great teacher. Now we know more information about Ms. Thompson being the Teacher of the Year here at GEMS. I'm reporter Gavin Roker with photographer Tryon Cox and Elias Rex signing out. Get to know some of our GEM staff. Today we want to share with you the profiles created by student leader ASB President Landon Plout about one of our GEMS language arts teachers, Ms. Hamasaki, our GEMS office clerk, Ms. Baser, and one of our GEMS campus supervisors, Mr. Powell, each week we will share a few more staff profiles with you so you can learn more about the staff here at Glen Edwards. Office Clerk, Holly Carol Baser. Holly's job name is Office Clerk 3. Her job is to enroll and disenroll students and she manages student files. Holly went to Sierra College. This is her fifth year at GEMS and she worked as a staff member for six years total. If she could be an any animal, she would be a dog because everyone likes dogs. Some of her hobbies in, are photo, photography, traveling, snow trips, and watching baseball games. Some advice for Holly has for her students is to treat everyone with kindness and respect. Her favorite memory at gyms is the first year she came here because her son started 
at this school at the same time, and they experienced Jim's Middle School together. Language arts te teacher, Mrs. Homosaki. Mrs. Homosaki teaches language arts. She majored in language arts at Chico State. She has been teaching for 24 years. Of those 24 years, she taught 14 years at Jim's. If she can be an animal, then she would be a sea turtle because they can swim a really long way. And they like to take a long rest. Some of her hobbies are going to the movies, traveling. Some of advice that Mrs. Hamasaki is that kids need to take pride in their work and they care about their work. One of her favorite memories was when two dads ran for 24 hours and Gems had a big carnival for them. Yard duty, Mr. Ted. Ted is a yard duty and his job is to make sure kids are safe, make sure they are following the rules and he did not attend college but he did graduate at Lincoln High School. Ted has been working at a staff member for five years and has been working at a GEMS for a total of three years. If he could be an animal, he would be a bear because he could be cute, but he had to be ornery when he could be. Some of his hobbies are playing sports, such as bowling, shooting hoops, and camping. Some advice from Ted is to enjoy the time you have at school because you won't regret it. Have fun. One of his favorite memories occurs each year when he gets to meet new kids. Have a great day, Panthers. Today we asked people whether they would rather have five supercars or one private jet. Here's what they said. I would rather have a private jet. I would rather have five supercars. I'd rather have five supercars. A private jet. I'd rather have five supercars. I'd rather have a private jet. I'd rather have five uh, supercars. From GEMS TV, I'm reporter Jesse Resnick with photographer Luke Nielsen signing out. What are you guys drinking? SF Bay Coffee. I can't play football without it. Try it. Hey, we gotta get this to the boys. GEMS TV would like to thank our sponsors, Platinum Level, Freer Realty Group, Cali Kids Dental, Gold Level, San Francisco Bay Coffee, Lincoln Elite Basketball, Silver Level, Rebel Hen Cafe, Tiger Eye Hair, Dr. Boatman DDS, Beach Hut Deli, Acre Pool Service, Far West Rental and Ready Mix, PJ's Mail and Parcel, Ryan's Home and Business Services, RM Mechanical, Thank you for watching GEMS TV.